What if I went to a party and mostly listen? That's actually really fun. Then you engage in conversations that are meaningful to you, more interesting, rather than just superficial. I don't know if you've paid attention to this, Nate, but so many of our members are naturally introverted. So when we, you know, it's it's hard enough for us to go out there and engage and be seen. And when you're feeling that way about yourself, having secrets and things you don't want people to see, you're going to find reasons to stay home, even if you're not drinking. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, because you have your, I was in the mental state of thinking I needed the crutch of alcohol to engage properly in all of these activities physical activities probably not so much i mean i wouldn't go i wouldn't you know have a few beers and then uh like go for a run or anything yeah although that's good i i you know i'm surprised i didn't actually now that i think about it but um yeah it's all of those things uh right you just invent ways that you can't do something or you shouldn't do something or it's going to be tough without alcohol mm. versus when you're living alcohol free even if something is new um or something that you're reintroducing yourself to you're so much more awake and aware and able to engage that it that it it, it makes the experience Frankly, even if it's a little uncomfortable because you aren't used to it, just that much more real. Um, and that's what causes the dopamine, the adrenaline, all of the good biochemical rushes now instead of, um, you know, useless old alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yes, we use the word curiosity a lot in our program. And instead of, oh, this going to this party is going to be hard or whatever event going on this vacation, going, having this conversation with someone is going to be hard. Uh, we, we use the word curiosity, get curious. How do you know that? Are you sure? What if it's great? And you can see the light bulbs going off over people's heads. Like, gosh, I never even considered that it could go well. Yeah. I loved those conversations and that certainly started me on uh, the, the trail of positivity, the kind of what if. Mm -hmm. And even if I'm at a party or an event or, or whatever, and, you know, you kind of think, well, gosh, with alcohol, you know, I was either the life of the party or you're constantly talking. Well, what if I went to a party and mostly listened? How, how would that and it's actually really fun. And, you, and then you engage in things that, in conversations uh, that are meaningful to you. Um, I don't want to say deep in all respects, but deeper, maybe, you know, more interesting rather than just superficial, which mm -hmm. is, if you're at one of those parties and you're just drinking on, it's impossible there was for me to get into a conversation that had true depth to it mm -hmm. or if i did i would forget it so well exactly yeah. and and i have found that <clears throat> because like you I'm, i tend to be actually very introverted uh i i, I play an extrovert <laughs> on demand <laughs> push a button extrovert i mean look what i do for work but uh definitely on the more introverted side naturally. I enjoy both parts of that, of my personality in that way. Um, but I have experienced that I enjoy social gatherings and people appreciate someone who remembers them, someone who can recall things about the last conversation they had. I can't tell you how many times I went to a party and met someone for the first time but it was actually the fourth and hopefully, you know, gosh, I can't imagine how that looked. It didn't look good. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I've met you three times, Victoria. Oh yeah. 
So it really does um, make us uh, a valuable part of social gatherings because we are listening and we're remembering. Mm 